Hey guys and welcome to the seventh video of this series, the Mac Mini for video editing and motion graphics, how good it is or not. <laughs> and uh, in this video, if you haven't checked the others, please uh, check the, the description and there will be a link for the other videos where you can uh, check from the beginning what we have been talking about. So regarding Motion 5 uh, rendering times, what I did was use the template created by me. Um, uh, well, I, I used to, but on the first one, um, that template has no motion blur uh, on the effects uh, that it uses, and it has 2 minutes and 6 seconds of duration, the standard version, and then I've got a few more versions um, with a bit longer duration, but for this test, um, that was enough. So let's take a look at the graphics and see how good uh, the Mac Mini is. So the Mac Mini took 5 minutes and 29 seconds to render this particular template. MacBook Pro, just using the integrated graphics card, I used the software uh, to, I don't remember the name of the software now, but to force to use the dedicated or the integrated graphics card. Uh, and with the Iris uh, Pro, it took 4 minutes and 2 seconds. So an improvement here. And the MacBook Pro with... Uh, its own resources, the NVIDIA 750M took 3 minutes and 35 to render this particular project, which is uh, almost half the time that the Mac Mini took. So a bit of an improvement, but hey, 5 minutes, is that uh, long? Mm, no, 5 minutes okay uh, to render a project like this. Um, so the Mac Mini is total, total, totally, <laughs> sorry, totally capable of rendering projects that are not um, demanding on the effects and we will see uh, an example on the next template on, on the next uh, test that I made so let's move on to photo slideshow uh, version 2 uh, template I forgot to put here version 2 but that's okay the test 2 transitions with motion blur 1 minute and 33 uh, duration um, and in here let's see the graphic Mac Mini took 54 minutes to render and um, that's mainly because of the motion blur. Motion blur is one of the things that make uh, motion take a lot to render. Motion, well, the machine that is running motion, um, especially because it's highly dependent on GPU. I didn't know this when I bought the Mac Mini, to be honest, I didn't. I read everywhere. Uh, the specs said that um, Apple Motion 5 could be run in a HD 3000, which was the version prior to this one. Um, but as long as you, you start working with some kind of software, you start simple and then you start creating and creating and, and messing around and, and applying effects here, applying effects there, you grow naturally. <laughs> Everyone grows. So it's normal to expect that your workflow will be more demanding, more um, creative, and the Mac Mini in here, when you get in a certain level that the things are more, uh, well, in this case, motion blur, which is a basic effect, uh, really pushes the, the, the graphics card. And Mac Mini not having a dedicated graphics card really makes this difference. The MacBook Pro on the Iris Pro uh, integrated graphics card took 34 minutes and 08 seconds. Um, which is a good improvement from the HD 4000 integrated GPU um, and the Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, sorry, <laughs> with um, the NVIDIA 750M took 21 seconds to render the same exact project. That's just because of the GPU. So if you <laughs> are in my place trying to decide uh, and this is the, why I made the videos. Uh, Motion 5 will take a lot of your computer once you apply certain effects, being one of them Motion Blur. Uh, if you render this same project without Motion Blur, it will probably run to, I don't know, 7, 8, 9 minutes, not more than that. But with Motion Blur applied, uh, 54 minutes, which is a lot for a simple project as this. Um, this same project, I have a version in After Effects, this same project on on the Mac Mini, rendering on a Mac Mini but using After Effects would take about 10-15 minutes, not more than that, uh, with motion blur and everything. Uh, 
uh, and the, the Apple Motion 5 is just the way the software works. It really pushes the graphics card um, as opposed to the After Effects that doesn't uh, accept ray tracing. Check out the other video about the After Effects except ray tracing. Don't place comments there that <laughs> say, hey, don't forget. The no, I didn't forget about ray tracing except ray tracing. Um, the graphics card will not be much on effect. Uh, as opposed to Motion 5, which really takes advantage of uh, a more powerful uh, graphics card. So for Motion, um, if I was in a market now for, uh, which I always am in a market for a good business, but if I was in a market now for Motion, uh, to dedicate myself 100% for Motion, I would go not for the Mac Pro. I wouldn't. I already mentioned that in a previous video. Uh, if you didn't check that one as well, um, I would go for the iMac. Uh, 27 inch um, fully spec'd out without doubt I would uh, but if you want to start working with motion 5 and uh, having that learning curve which is usual uh, one year two years the Mac mini is still a good option which uh, will take you uh, <laughs> the process of learning if you haven't work with motion 5 the process of learning will be uh, maybe the investment that you may make in a Mac mini and then once you are more uh, efficient working with the software, then you might think in a, in a later upgrade, uh, whether if it's a MacBook Pro for portability or a iMac or Mac Pro um, for a workstation. Um, of course, I'm not saying that you could not go for the Mac Pro immediately. You can. It's just it's a great machine. My brother has one. I, <laughs> I've been playing around with it. It's a, it's a great machine. But regarding Motion 5, I already spent <laughs> a bit of time um, bumbling around. Uh, regarding Motion 5, um, this is it. This is what I can uh, say. It is GPU intensive tasks when you apply certain effects. Uh, and uh, I was not aware of that last year when I bought the Mac Mini. Uh, nonetheless, I'm not, uh, I didn't regret it. My, invested, my investment is made. I got into the Mac world, <laughs> if I could say. Uh, I like it, yeah. I'm not thinking about giving up Windows. Uh, if I can manage to have two system updated systems, I will. Uh, but uh, hey, this is it. So uh, for the next video will be our conclusion. Just a few things that uh, I probably forgot to mention on the other videos. Uh, if you are wondering why am I sharing these videos, just go for the first one and, and from that uh, it's nice, well, at least for me, <laughs> it's nice to, to, to be able to share this with you guys. Um, any critics that you want to make, uh, I obviously prefer constructive constructive uh, critics, um, but you are free to, to make your comments and, and say like, dislike and things like that. So I expect from you, uh, or I expect to see you on the last video of this series. Uh, thanks for watching, my name is Roberto George.